In this video, I installed a mod that makes treasure bags from bosses contain random items. These items can be anything from useless building blocks to the legendary sword Zenith. Will I end up getting lucky and receive some endgame items right off the bat, or will I have to take down Moonler without anything good? Stay tuned to find out. Alright, let's get started. I guess I can chop down some wood to start off. So I'll be playing Terraria pretty much normally until I reach my first boss. Um, after I get my treasure bag, then I can only use items from the treasure bags. So I can't mine anything to make weapons or armor. It'll only be luck involved in this video. So yeah, pretty much just items in the treasure bag are the ones that I'm allowed to use. Alright, so what I'm thinking of doing, um, I'm probably going to have to mine and try to find some rubies. And then once I have enough gel, I can make the King Slime Summon. Um, that boss should be the easiest for me to kill so I can farm up a ton of treasure bags. Depending on how much or how many rupees I have. And then once I get some decent things from the bags, then I can start taking on some other bosses. Oh, I just got a hook from the uh, piranha. Okay, that means I can make a grappling hook real quick. Okay, we got a blowpipe, so that's a ranged weapon. Is this strong enough to take on the King Slime? Um, probably not. Oh no. No, 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 get away from me. No! What am I doing? Oh, I don't like how the umbrella can just hit horizontally. Alright, well, I guess I'll mine down for now, because both sides are pretty dangerous. Um, there isn't any, like caves for me to actually explore. There's the jungle one, but that's full of enemies, and then also on the left side there's the crimson. And there's not really any caves, so I guess I'll just mine down. Oh, okay, there's a spider's den. And there's a golden chest. But it's rigged full of traps, so I gotta be careful. Um, let's see if I can find the webbed chest. And try to get the web slinger. Okay, this is actually a really small spider's den, so I guess not. Alright, all the explosives are gone. Let's open it up. Yes, let's go! Okay. I got a bit scared there with the boulder. I thought I was going to land into the hole and just destroy me, but we're good. But yeah, nice. We got Hermes boots. So if we can get the anklet of the wind in the jungle, then we can pretty much just make lightning boots. Okay, this should be enough sapphire to make the hook. Let's see. Oh yeah, I got plenty. Alright, we can make the sapphire hook instead of the regular grappling hook then. Alright, let's make... where is it? Furnace. I think I need more torches though. There we go. Furnace. And then let's make iron bars to make an anvil. And then we can make the sapphire hook. All right. Oh, okay, I have enough for a gold pickaxe. So let's do that. And I guess we'll just make the silver helmet just for a bit of defense. And let's make some NPC houses before we get back to mining. There we go. Oh, okay, there's our first life crystal. Oh, okay. These are diamonds. That means I can make a diamond hook. And I'm gonna go over there to the left because I do see another life crystal. And a... looks like a spider's den again. So maybe we can get some gravitation potions. If there is a webbed chest. Okay, I guess not. Um, yeah, that's basically it. That's kind of strange though. Got... well I saw two spider's den and there's not a single... Uh, Best for me to get. Oh, okay. Another gold chest. What's inside this one? The hurtful mace. Okay, that's a better weapon. Oh my god, and another. What? Okay, we'll take that. Band of regeneration. And I see another chest down there as well. Hopefully, it's not rigged with any traps. Armored lucky horseshoe. Oh my god, I am getting so lucky. What? What's going on? Okay. Got a... where is it? 
suspicious looking eye. So I guess that will be our first boss to fight since I can't find any uh, rubies. Wait, are those rubies right here? Oh, they are. Oh, only only one, but uh, that's fine. Better than nothing. Oh, okay, we got a gravitation potion. If we can get the Star Fury, then I'll summon the Eye of Cthulhu right away. But I only do have one, so we're going to have to make sure um, I try to find as many Sky Islands as possible. Ooh, yes, more rubies. Okay, nice. I can summon the King Slime six more times then. All right, let's drink our gravitation potion and try to find some Sky Islands. All right, please be Star Fury. Come on, come on. Yes, let's go. Okay. Let's hurry up and try to get some fledgling wings and the shiny red balloon. I only have two more minutes left, but if I can get at least one more accessory. Oh, yes. Okay. And we got the shiny red balloon. All right. So I'm just going to take a guess and say that the other sky island is on this side of the world. Yes. Okay. I was correct. There we go. Wait, is that warding? Oh my god, yes. Okay. Alright, let's finish making... Oh yeah, we can make the diamond hook. There we go. And... Let's finish making our armor set, because I did mine a ton of ores. I'm probably going to have to make the silver armor set instead of the gold, because I just don't have enough for that. And I might as well just save up the gold for the gold crowns to make the king slime summon. Alright, silver chainmail. And Silver Greaves. Alright, now we just need some more gel. Well, I'm going to break these Sunflower because these things reduce monster spawn. And I need as many slimes as possible to spawn. Oh my god, there's so many life crystals here. Okay. I guess this place could be the best for me right now. Because there are jungle slimes. So I can kill those for gel. And I can also farm for... Uh, Life crystals as well. Oh, there's our anklet of the wind. Okay, we can make lightning boots now. All right, two more, and then we'll be at max health. Oh, one more actually. There we go. All right, we are ready to take on some bosses now. Let's go. Okay, I don't even need to uh, use my summons for this. Nice, I got a freebie. All right, let's put a campfire down. There we go. All right, let's do this. I feel like I'm just strong enough to uh, tank the hits so I can deal more damage. Let's just do that. Almost dead. Here we go. Oh boy, I'm so excited. Okay. Alright, here we go. Three, two, one. Ooh. Okay. We got a magic weapon. This is a hard mode magic weapon. I don't... Yeah, I don't have enough um mana. So I should have collected more stars. Okay, let's see. Yeah, no. Um, yeah, I'm gonna have to collect more fallen stars for this weapon, but since it's still nighttime, let's keep on summoning the boss. Okay, second one done. Alright, three, two, one. The Muramasa, okay. <gasps> oh! This one flies, right? Yes, let's go! Oh my god. Wait. Does it have infinite flight? Oh no, it doesn't. Okay, but still, that's that's plenty. Oh my god, yes. Did we get anything else? Um, not really. Yeah, this mountain is just going to make boss fights so much easier. I really don't need wings then. Oh my god, I can like switch it, switch wings out for like another accessory. Okay. 
Oh, that's what the sound was. Got the tiny Lucy the axe. Got a pogo stick. Wait, what? <laughs> Wait, I've never seen this before. Oh my god. Oh! I just realized you got this. Isn't this the, um... What was it? The Empress of Light weapon drop? Or like one of them? Oh, I don't have enough mana. Okay, yeah, we definitely need some more mana. Alright, next up, we're gonna do some King Slimes. We'll just do three, and then um, we'll go over to the Crimson and take on the uh, Brain of Cthulhu. Alright, Slime Crown done. Well, let's go. Okay, let's use the Night Glow at least once. Boom! Okay. Yeah, that's actually pretty good for where I'm at right now. Okay, and it's dead. That was pretty fast. Open this thing up. Whoa! Wait, uh, can I use this? Oh my... I thought I had to beat the Wall of Flesh first to use it. Okay. Well, that's a free accessory slot. And then we can't use any more, of course. Got the dual hook. Okay, replace our diamond hook. Ooh, okay, let's just sell it for um, 20 gold. And we got the Vortex Helmet. What? Okay, let's put that on. We don't have any ranged weapons, though. So... I can't really use the effect on this thing, but still does have 14 defense. Alright, let's do the King Slime two more times. Alright, done. What did I... Oh, okay. Yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll use the jungle shirt. But the phase blade... Uh, don't think I'll be using that. And... Diving gear. Eh. That's not bad. At least we got some more mana. Okay, that's done. Boom! Oh! Wait. Okay, no, we don't need this. Masterful rainbow gun. Oh my god. <laughs> yes! Okay. That is what I like to see. Uh, I guess we'll keep one fire feather just in case if I end up wanting to make some wings. Alright, we can head over to the Crimson now and summon the Brain of Cthulhu. Here we go. Oh my god. <laughs> it's already dead pretty much. Oh, hold up. There we go. There we go. Alright, we're done here. Alright, let's open them up. First one. Okay, we got some wings. Let's replace our fledgling wings. We also got the frozen turtle shell. I think we can put that with the... What was it? The paladin shield? If we get that one? Yeah. Alright, last one. Yo-yo glove. And Soul of Sight, okay. Alright, we can make the Deathbringer pickaxe now. Alright, it is nighttime, so I think I'm gonna go search for some more stars. And after that, I'll go and take on Skeletron. Alright, only found about 10 stars. I guess I'll just take on Skeletron with 100 mana. And we don't really need to make an arena, so let's just... Dump right into it. Three, two, one. Oh. Three, two, one. There we go. And let's make the head ride down the rainbow. Okay, one hand down. Both hands are down, okay. Let's do it again. Ride the rainbow, let's go. Oh! Oh! The Fallen Star almost hit the head. 
Almost there, come on. There we go. Alright. Where is it? There it is. Boom! Oh. Okay, Shroomite Leggings. And Fish Ron Wings. Um... Yeah, I don't know... How good these ones are. Ghost Stars Infinity 8. Let's see. So, so it goes up to there. And then... These ones... Okay, never mind. What am, what am I talking about? These ones are definitely better. Well, I'm gonna put this on the vanity because it does look cooler. Okay, we got the Hellfire Yo-Yo. So I guess we don't need the Star Fury anymore. Don't need one of Sparking. Get rid of these. I guess we can keep the Celestial Emblem for now. Because we are using a bunch of magic weapons. Okay, I'm thinking about it. Do I really need to be here? Like, I could get the Cobalt Shield, but I'm like, I don't, I don't know. The, the knockback resistance would be nice. But I feel like I'm so strong, it doesn't even matter. Ooh, okay. Goblin army's approaching. Then we can start combining our accessories. Okay, we'll open one one more golden chest. If I don't get what I want, then I'm, then I'm leaving this place. Uh, okay, yeah, let's leave. Alright, Goblin Army is done. Alright, next up, I'm gonna take on the Wall of Flesh. So, as soon as I get a Voodoo Doll, I'm just gonna throw it in there because we are clearly overpowered. Oh! Oh my god. Found the Goblin Tinker. Okay. Rocket Boots, Workshop, and. Which one's gonna be our main weapon? Probably the Night Glow first. We get something really good, come on. Yes! Okay, okay. Okay, let's make Vector Boots. Let's get our Egglet and Ankle of the Wind to make Lightning Boots. There we go. Let's also combine our Cloud in a Bottle with the Balloon. Cloud in a Balloon. And might as well just throw in a lucky horseshoe. There we go. Alright, we made it to hell. And now we wait for a demon voodoo doll to come. Is it nighttime? Can I summon? Oh, yes I can. Okay. Oh. I guess while I wait for a voodoo demon doll to spawn, I can take on the Ive Cthulhu a couple times. Let's see what I get. Okay. Got a summon. Let's go again. Alright, first one, let's go. Excalibur. Okay. Ooh! Solar Flare Drill. Okay. We don't need our Deathbringer Pickaxe anymore. We got the Beetle Scale Mail. Do I want to switch out the jungle shirt for it? I mean, once I get enough um, mana, then probably. Yeah, we'll just hold on to it for now. Okay, last one. Oh, the lunar hook. Yes. Okay. Oh, we just got the best hook in the game. Oh my god, finally. Give me that. I waited so long. Holy crap. Let's head over to the right side real quick and get the show on the road. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Oh. Okay, let me back out a bit, wait for my mana to regen. All right, let's go again. Die, 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 please. Alright, we're done. Alright, let's open this bad boy up. Got the Deadly Shadow Beam Staff. 
Shadow Flame Hex Doll. But I think that's about it. Alright, our next goal is the mechanical bosses. So I need to find the underground hollowed and crimson biome. So we can get some souls of night and souls of light. Okay, got enough souls of light. Now all I need is souls of night. Alright, got enough souls of night. Let's go back home. Wait, I do need to break the crimson altars. I forgot because I need to make either the Orcalcum Anvil or the Mithor Anvil so I can make the mechanical boss summons. Oh my god, okay. Well, alright, so it seems that I have to kill enough bosses until I get a hammer that's strong enough to break crimson altars. So, yeah, I think I'm just going to summon a bunch of king slimes because those are the easiest to kill. Um, I do only have three though, so I do have to make it count. But yeah, let's go. Hopefully I get lucky enough to get a bone hammer. Please, I need a hammer. Nope. Next one. Ooh! We got the Lunar Flare! Oh my god, that's a post Moonlord weapon, okay. Wait, is this enough? Oh! Oh my god. No way. That's barely enough. Okay. Oh, my last treasure bag too. Alright, let's make the mechanical eye. Worm and skull. Alright, let's start it up. Let's do the twins first, I guess. There we go. Toy tank. Summons a rideable sand tank mount. Wait, does it shoot? If it shoots, I'm gonna be so surprised. <gasps> it shoots! Oh my god. That is so cool. Wait, the damage is... The damage is insane, actually. Like, a hundred? What the? Alright, let's do Skeleton Prime next. Okay. Man, this weapon is just so broken. It gets so weak, though, after I drink um, a mana potion. Which kind of sucks. There we go. Alright, let's open this one up now. Uh, nothing... Oh my. Wait, it dropped more treasure bags. Okay. Hold up. Alright, let's open these up now. Um... Nothing really. Oh my god, more mechanical eyes. Which means more treasure bags. Love it. Uh, nothing here. Okay. Keep going. Do I want to use this? It does give me more mana. But then I loot... Mm. Yeah, I mean, the Vortex Helmet isn't really doing much for me right now, so I guess so. There we go. Armored Bee Cloak. I guess I could swap this out for the Band of Regeneration for now. Last one. Ice Mirror, don't need. Arrow sh Wait, what? 10 defense, grants immunity to knockback, absorbs 25 of damage done to players. Uh, okay. This is a really good accessory, holy. What do I want to swap it with? Do I really need lightning boots? Or the panic necklace? I don't think I need the panic necklace. Okay, let's do that. And let's hurry up and kill the mechan- or destroyer. Let's see if I can do this right. There we go. And then throw it here. Done. Okay, that was so fast. <laughs> oh. Possessed hatchet. Yo-yo bag. Don't think we'll be using any yo-yos for this video. Oh, oh wait, arcane flower? 
Boy, this one might... Yeah, I think I'm gonna use this one. Let's get rid of the balloon, actually. Alright. Alright, time to take on Plantera, but I don't think the bulb has spawned yet. But we're just gonna clear out some area. So we can tell better when it does. Alright, I pretty much cleared out the entire jungle. So now, all I have to do is look for a pink pixel. And that should be the Plantera bulb. Okay, finally. Oh my god, I actually waited like almost 40 minutes for this thing to spawn. Alright, the arena is done. Let's go break the bulb now. Here we go. Oh no, get me out. Okay. Teal up. And you're dead. Alright. Easy peasy. Uh, we didn't get much here. That's okay. Alright, so I know I didn't get the temple key from the Plantera bag. But that's okay because the pickaxe that I have right now, the solar flare drill, it can mine through the lizard bricks. I can just go in there without the uh, without the key. Okay, there we go. We're in. And let's just spawn it right away. Here we go. And that's done. Okay. All right, we can get out of here now. And let's go and take on the Lunatic Cultist. Yeah, this is just way too easy with this weapon. And that's done. All right, now the annoying part, the Celestial Pillars. All right, Solar Pillar is done. Alright, Nebula Pillar is done. More to go. Okay, Stardust done. Last one to go, which is Vortex. Alright, we're all done. All that's left is Moon Lord. Alright, here we go. Kill the middle eye first. I'm gonna heal right now. Cause I am literally a glass cannon. I do a lot of damage, but I take so much damage too. Okay, TP from that. Ow. Okay, let's try to kill the middle eye now. Come on, there we go. Then that hand's done. Ooh, okay. That's kinda scary. Come on, kill the hand. Is it dead? Nope, not yet. Now it is, okay. Heal up. Okay, it's just just the heart now. Just the heart. I'm gonna teleport, heal one more time. Heal, okay, we out. I can't really see. Oh no. Okay, there we go. Run, run, run. Oh my god. Come on. Oh god, I was close. Yes, there we go.
Alright, then for our last treasure bag to open, let's see what we get. Art in a jar, mana flower, yo-yo glove. Yeah, that's about it. Alright, that's going to it, guys. Thank you so much for watching. This was the Terraria treasure bag randomizer. If you've enjoyed watching the video, give a thumbs up. Comment down below if you guys have any video suggestions. And also subscribe to the channel. Thank you so much for watching once again. And I'll see you all next time. Peace.